See an adult on the property talking to the students. I need you all to go to the school, please! Down on the ground. The lunchtime supervisor plays a vital role in the everyday school routine. Your positive attitude and respect towards students and other adults will create a pleasant and safe environment for everyone. Before heading out on duty, consider the weather and your own safety when choosing what to wear. Proper footwear is important. You need to be able to reach students wherever they are in the yard even in the mud or snow. Carry a whistle so that you can signal students and staff from far away. Students will quickly get used to this sound and often stop in their tracks when they hear it. Your fluorescent safety vest may not be fashionable, but it makes you visible to everyone at all times. Students will also feel more secure knowing that you are nearby. A notebook and pen or pencil comes in handy to record information if you need to report any problems to the office. A radio keeps you in contact with school staff, whether you are out on the yard or inside the school. Be sure to check that the batteries are fully charged before you begin your shift and return the unit to its docking station for recharging afterward. Remember to use Office. these tools sparingly, or they will lose their effectiveness with Office. overuse. Office. Contact the office if at any time you feel more adults are needed on the yard for supervision. You screwed my contact are fighting. If necessary, send a pair of students to deliver messages if your radio is not working or your messages go unanswered. Your goal should always be to make the students feel safe. Anticipate problems and be visible in those hot spots on the playground where trouble is most likely to occur. Your presence, especially in the far corners of the schoolyard, can prevent trouble before it begins. By being friendly, approachable and fair, the students will trust you and your decisions. You can create a peaceful playground. Good job. During outdoor supervision, keep moving so that you cover the entire area you are assigned. Be observant and aware of any activity that could lead to injuries or trouble. While supervising indoors, you also need to be visible in your assigned area. Move at a steady pace and connect with students as you proceed. Whether indoors or out, you need to be consistent and keep your eyes open for anything that may pose a risk to the safety of students. While it is best practice for school staff to make a daily inspection of the yard before sending students out to play, sometimes hazards are not seen until a student has made the discovery. If you cannot remove the item yourself, keep students away from the area and report the problem to the office. Go ahead. Placing pylons around the hazard is a visual signal to stay clear. Be proactive. Step in before things get out of hand. This will help to calm everyone and resolve the problem sooner. Your tone of voice can help in tense situations. Be aware of how you sound. Speak calmly and clearly. Body language is also an important tool. Your facial expression, hand and arm movements, even the way you stand, can help cool tempers or calm an upset student. Using appropriate tone of voice and non-threatening body language will foster trust and respect between you and the students. Even the most difficult person can be won over with a positive approach. When faced with a disagreement, it is your duty to be fair to both sides. Remain calm, listen, and gather the facts. Your level-headed approach will help to calm them. Separating the two students to hear their sides of the story also gives them and others the chance to cool down away from the situation. 
each situation will be different. You may be able to solve the problem during the break, or it may need more time and is best done afterward at the office. When making notes about an incident, you need to stick to the facts, not report opinions. Did you witness the event? Or did someone else tell you about it? Who saw it happen? Check with your own school to see if they have a preferred method to report problems. Putting these practices into use will create a safer, more enjoyable playground for all students and make your supervision duties easier.